guys, welcome back to We Watch a Movie. I am Mike, and I hope you're having an amazing Monday morning. We have another Scream 6 update for you. A bunch of cool stuff came out this weekend, including some good news, some sort of bad news. We'll start with the bad news, because we want to end you with a happy ending. Everywhere I go, that's all I try to do, is give people happy endings. Just do me a favor, stay away from Deshaun Watson. Just as a general rule, if you're a massage therapist, just stay away from that guy. Probably not the best place to be around. Matter of fact, you may want to move out of Cleveland. Anyway, speaking of moving out, we're going to talk about the story about Scream moving to New York City in just a little bit. But first, we got to cover the negative Nev Campbell shit. And I'm not calling her negative Nev Campbell. I'm saying it's turned into a negative. You get the fucking idea. Uh, what I'm saying is, if I'm saying anything, Matthew Lither came out and said, did Tom Cruise take less money for the Top Gun sequel? Fuck no, dude. So why is a woman supposed to take less? Why would you pay her more as the series goes on? Was Scream 5 a hit or not a hit? It was a smash hit. Did they make a shit ton of money? Yes. Should Nev Campbell be paid for the work she's done in five movies of a franchise? Yes, because she's a female male lead in one of the most successful horror franchises and said it was infuriating and he did come out and tweet and he said look i'm gonna say it it's sexist uh i there i said it. it's horrible and the main thing about this to me what matthew lillard is saying is that they were just on a convention together when this news broke lillard and skeet ulrich and nev campbell were all hanging out at a convention together while this was going down so that tells me that when he comes out with this open and angry of a statement, it tells me more more than anything else has told me so far. One of my biggest things about it was for, we don't know if the offer was fucking fair or not, that Paramount could have offered her a huge bag, and maybe she just didn't even want to do the movie, so she was asking for something egregious. I'm not blaming her. I don't know Nev Campbell personally. I can't tell you whether or not she would do that or not, but we don't know that she wouldn't either. But this tells me a lot, because Matthew Lillard does know her. He probably knows a lot more about how much she was offered or was not offered. He's probably way on the more inside than any of us are, as far as this whole thing goes. And he's fucking pissed. <laughs> uh, now, there's two different rumors going on. And, and you know, Randy himself, Jamie Kennedy, went on his YouTube channel and went on a rant and supported her, too. Now, he compared her to, he's like, remember what happened when they took Vin Diesel away from Fast and Furious? And I think that that's, like, the worst comparison I've ever heard in my fucking life. But, uh, you know, it's a totally different situation. Uh, but I, I appreciate, I think it's awesome that her co-stars are coming out, first and foremost, and supporting their friend in the face of the industry, too. I think they're awesome for that. That being said, I think, as I said in the last video, I think comparing Nev Campbell to Tom Cruise, no offense to Nev Campbell at all, but that's insane. Tom Cruise is one of the biggest movie stars that has ever walked the fucking planet. The guy hangs on the outside of planes. He risks his life to make the movies. He's a part of producing. He's a part of every single tiny aspect of every single movie. You heard the tape of him screaming at people on set for not wearing their masks. He's more than just a lead actor in a movie. All right? I, there's just... You can, but it's not, it's not a shot to Nev Campbell. You can't compare anybody almost to what Tom Cruise has to do with his movie sets. I mean, it's just, it's a great, it's like just a fucking another world. So I think that that's just a bad comparison to go with for sure. And especially in a movie that uh, with Top Gun just made 400 million fucking dollars. All right. I mean, Scream's not going to do that. It's just not going to do that kind of money. So that's, there is a big difference there. There's two, there's two rumors going around right now. Now, Jamie Kennedy came out and supported her and he said, and I believe, don't quote me on this. She had a very hearty part in the script. So Jamie Kennedy is saying he thinks she has a big part in the, in the, had a big part in the movie, but there's another rumor going around. And again, just rumors. Nobody knows. Again, no one's told us shit. So I have a hard time watching all these people say, I fucking hate Paramount. I'm never scream. I hate this franchise now. And there's this whole negative cloud over the whole franchise. Well, we don't even know what happened. But Jamie, Jamie Kennedy said that he believes she had a hearty part in the script. Meanwhile, on the internet, there's a big rumor going around that they wanted to offer her $2 million for a couple minute role in just this one. That was going to take her like less than a week to shoot. So that's $2 million for less than a week to shoot. Is that fair or not to you? I don't know. That's not up to me to decide. I mean, I'd fucking do it. But that's different. But that's those are two completely opposite things we're hearing. One's a less than a week of work. One's a hardy part in the script. So we again, we just don't know. Uh, but Matthew Lillard and Jamie Kennedy probably know more than we do. So them being this pissed about it, I think does say something. It's not a good look for Paramount. I think they should come out and they should they should figure something out or say what they offered her. Either way, for this movie, I think it's done. I, I think they're shooting. I don't think she's coming back. I think that's, I don't know. There could be a last second Hail Mary, but it certainly sounds like this, this story's done until we talk about Scream 7 when it comes to Neff Campbell. And you know, as much as I love Sidney Prescott, I'm excited to see what the new people in the movie do. I just really am. I'm excited to see what fresh avenues they can take the franchise down. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. 
This is very, 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 very bad news for us Stu Truthers. Whether Nev Campbell comes back or not, and maybe she does in Scream 7, and maybe he will too, which is kind of what I'm hoping for. I think he's absolutely not in 6 at this point. But him saying this, him just... It's one thing to say I support her. It's another thing to say that Paramount, Spyglass, whoever's uh, whoever's actually responsible for paying her is actually sexist. Um, they know cast Matthew Lillard no time soon. Anything could happen. They could figure it out. They could sort it out. They could pay Nev for seven, and maybe he could still come back for seven. But when an actor comes out and says this against the studio, the likelihood, which was already you know, of whether or not they could finagle it to make him come back. This could be the fucking death nail in the Stu returning to the franchise. And that is the saddest piece of news I will have for you today. Some of you will rejoice about that. But fuck you. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Feel how you want to about it. I'm sad. I do think it's really interesting, though, that we heard from Lillard, we heard from Arquette, and we heard from Randy, and we have not heard from Skeet Ulrich yet. Is he in the next movie as a flashback or not? We don't know. He, interestingly, has not come out and said anything about it, which makes it seem a little bit more like he may be in this fucking movie and he doesn't want to rock the boat. Now, he doesn't have to say anything. He doesn't have to come out and say anything. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying put pressure on him to come out and support her like they have. I'm just saying it's interesting that he's the only person who hasn't spoken on it yet. One current cast member has spoken on it, and that's Jasmine Savoy Brown, uh, who plays Randy's niece in the movie, and she was fucking awesome as Mindy, and one of the people I'm looking forward to seeing have an expanded role in the next movie she said i absolutely respect her for that i think that it's uh, hard to be a woman in this industry and in any industry at all if any person but especially any woman feels that she deserves more whether that's a financial situation with work out of a relationship out of a fill in the blank if she can walk away i support that and it goes along the line with what i said before like you can't be mad at nev campbell if she does want an egregious amount of money uh she's a fucking human being and she can do whatever the hell she wants with her life and she doesn't know you shit it's a fucking movie at the end of the day you know what i mean but she also said the script is fantastic and the franchise will go on in a beautiful way i think she handled that whole situation great you know what i mean uh i'm actually tired of this drama though like it sucks i want to just be excited about scream six now and again, they were always headed this direction. Like, they always said that the last one was a legacy sequel. It was a passing of the torch. How many times did they mention that? We knew we were going to end up going on without Sidney Prescott at some point. So, for me, as the movie goes, I'm just as excited as I was before. Uh, that's just me. I just... I. I can't wait until this is all settled and we can get back to fucking just having fun being excited what a time to be alive man three fucking halloween movies two at least scream movies coming out it's a good time to be alive you know this fucking franchise could be in a fucking courtroom toilet stall fights going on over the rights or could be wherever the fuck nightmare on elm street is right now we we don't we're not entitled to any of this shit so the fact that we're this lucky to even have scream movies i fucking just i just want to have fun girls just want to have fun everybody's so angry everybody's so fucking like everything has to be perfect they're gonna fuck it up i hate scream five <laughs> i just can we just have fun with movies i don't know it's upsetting there's stuff i don't like either but damn but finally some fucking good news scream is going to new york city there's a bunch of fans that are on site right now they're filming in montreal and there's fans on site taking pictures like this so far. Thankfully, no spoilers that I know of have come out from any of this. Except for the fact that an NYPD vehicle was spot spotted. Meaning that we are definitely going to spend at least a part of the movie in a New York City setup. Which we know that's where Gail works, right? So I don't know what that's going to have to do with everything. How central of a character is she going to be in this? A bunch of people are really hoping that Gail finally takes a ghost face phone call. Because she never has in the entire series. While she's on the set of her morning show which would be a wild twist. That's a cool idea. I like that. There's some people complaining about this. Some people are fucking like, I don't want Jason Takes Manhattan. I didn't like that movie. Well, fucking me either, dude. But just because they're filming in New York, you know how many movies are in New York City? Like, just because there's a couple scenes, at least, that are going to be shot there does not mean the whole movie's going to be about that. It's definitely not going to have the same aesthetic of Jason Takes Manhattan. It's not going to be Ghostface versus the whole of New York City. It just happens to be the new setting for the... <laughs> 
<laughs> for the goddamn movie. And there's so many fun things that they could do with that. The cityscapes and all that, the cool ghost face, like cinematography, that, not cinematography, but you know what I mean? Like the backdrop of New York with ghost face on it. It's like how I want to see Jason in the snow. They could do some really cool stuff with that. And they could set that up really nice if they want to. Or it could just be the place where Gail fucking lives. And they do a scene or two there. And we're right back to some other suburban area. You know, we don't know, but I love that we don't know. It's exciting that we don't fucking know. I'm having a great time with the fact that we don't fucking know. And I don't want to. It's fun. But it's all really fun. I think it's cool news so far. I'm loving it all. Uh, this is really cool, guys. This is, I mean, come on. How is this not going to be the poster? If New York, if New York is going to have a, if the backdrop of New York City is going to be a character in the film, right? If it's going to be important, tell me this isn't the fucking Scream 6 poster from Creepy, Creepy Duck Design. How the fuck? You're not topping this. You're not topping this poster right here. That is sweet as fuck. And thank you, Creepy Duck, for letting me use it for the thumbnail as well. Uh, that's the art you see in the thumbnail also. But this is a this is a movie poster, man. Don't give me some bullshit like we get with a lot of these posters. And Scream did work with him before on some stuff. So I would love to see this. If New York City is going to play an important part in the movie... And I'm not saying Jason takes Manhattan levels, but if it's just going to play a character in itself in the movie, uh, then I think this has got to be the poster. That's so dope, man. That is so amazing. I, I really just, I hate you for how talented you are, but I love you for how you smell. But yeah, guys, that's the Scream 6 update. I hope you guys have an amazing week. So much more to come. Whatever comes, if you come, I'll come. Everybody comes to the channel to get the Scream 6 updates. This is what I was trying to... That's what, I, that's what I meant. Everyone is coming! But make sure you subscribe and click the bell and all that shit. Because all your Scream updates you'll find here. Halloween ends. All that good shit. We love your fucking faces so much. Thank you for taking your time to watch this video today. And spending a part of your Monday with me. We will see you with another video tomorrow. What are you going to do on October 31st? What are you going to do on October 31st? Here comes that white-faced fucker. An asshole like no other. He's a big old piece of shit. Wants to stab your sister's tits because he's a white-faced fucker. Loomis can't recover. Dr. Challenge drunk again. Sleeping with your sister's friends. Do you want to know about the darkness? I said God damn. God damn you, Ooh, I said God damn. A lot of people don't know the darkness that goes inside their hearts. I said God damn.